Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. And in today's episode, we're gonna have a look at two more puzzles made by Vinko, or to be more exact, by Václav Obsivat from Czech Republic. I reviewed already some of the Vinko puzzles before, link up here. And these two are same as the ones before, coordinated motion puzzles. Means I need to take them apart and put them back together. That's the task. And it can be quite tricky as you have seen the last time. These are rated difficulty 4 and difficulty 5 on the Vinco scale. So I'm interested to see how they, how difficult they are. And let's maybe just have a first look inside how these puzzles look like. First time I ever opened this box. And this one looks... Amazing. It's made from sherry wood, I learned. At least I think the outer parts. The inner parts, I'm not sure. Maybe maple or ash wood. And there are no moving parts at all. And as you can already see here on the picture on the front, there is a little ball or something, wooden ball inside, which you need to take out somehow. Okay, this is the first one. Ah, and these puzzles come always the solution in here. So... Take care not to watch it before you try the puzzle. And the second one is the Duo DC Burr puzzle. I'm not sure if it's a Burr puzzle or a coordinated motion puzzle. And this one looks also amazing. This one is made from walnut wood and ash wood, as I learned from the website. And also made, of course, by Václav Obsivac. Different, different name to me for, for pronouncing. And um, yeah, after this one, I think, comes apart quite easy. But I can imagine it's very, very difficult to reassemble. Let's see, it seems to have many pieces. However, these are the two puzzles I will review today. And after the spoiler break, you will see my first attempt to solve them. Okay, so which one to pick for my first attempt? I will pick this one because this one has difficulty 4 and this one 5, which should be equal to level 8 and level 10. I'm not sure if this is really a level 10 puzzle, but let's see. Maybe I will change my opinion later when I tried it. So let's move this one aside and let's have a look at this one first. So same as the previous Vinco puzzles. This one is um, pretty much static, no moving parts. You can only hear the little wooden ball inside. I'm not sure how interesting this is to w w watch me. You can, in the meanwhile, maybe enjoy the beautiful appearance here of this puzzle. And you can, by the way, also place it like this here in your shelf. And okay, so let's have a look. First, I try to Let's say shift the pieces, but there is no movement at all. And I also try to shift it, shift them this way, pull them maybe. Oh, if I pull them, if I pull them, there is some movement here. No. <laughs> okay, so if I pull them apart. And try to pull them from the other direction. I push them back together. So the free play, let me just check what happens here. Okay, I cannot move them any further by pulling here. But I just noticed something. And this is that some of the edges, like this one here, is able to come apart. I'm able to move the pieces here and create small gaps be, uh, between the parts. So they are able to separate. While other edges like this one here seems to be connected. So I can create no gap over here. Parts are glued together it seems. And this gave me the idea to pull them like over here to remove this piece in this direction. Yeah? And I will just try to 
take it here. Where's another piece? And here. Uh, I think this works. This might work. But I'm not sure how to grab it. That that will not explode like the last time. A little bit afraid of that to happen. Oh! It happened. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. So, wow. These are... Look how complex these pieces are. Three of them. Seems to be... Uh, four, <laughs> four of them, sorry. And they seem to be all completely the same. Yeah, completely the same geometry. And look at this. This looks amazing. The pieces are glued together. And they now need to somehow shift or be shifted inside of each other. Wow, this, you, I mean, it's difficult to explain because you cannot feel it, but these pieces are fit very, very smooth and very tight inside of each other. The, the little ball is probably placed in here. This is gonna be tricky. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. So let me give, let's give it a try with three the beginning but this seems to be correct you see this in the inside and now the pieces will slide together yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's it okay but how to get in the fourth piece because as soon as i create an interference between the pieces they are that they are let's say self interlocking like so as soon as they are interlocking, it's difficult to get in the fourth piece and I do not slide it in in a, let's say, usual way from the side or from the top or the rear, but diagonal and this is kind of tricky to manage and try to place them here on these sliding surfaces. Let's see. Two are in. The last one is also in, I think. It seems so. I will just put the small ball inside. Yep. Here we go. Back in position. Snap back. And this is amazing. I mean, how the pieces look from inside and slide into each other. I, I won't take it apart again. I'm sorry. <laughs> But this puzzle is definitely something pretty cool. I like it. And now it's time to have a look at the second one of today's episode. So let's have a look. This one, okay, this one becomes, comes apart quite easy. You can already feel it and you handle it. And I will just look at this. Isn't this satisfying? Watch this. Boom. Okay. Oh, and it's not even made out of four parts. It's oh, oh, oh. It's made out of twelve single parts. Oh my gosh. Is it really a level level five or level ten? We will see. But they are all exactly the same. So I will just rearrange them over here. And we can see it's really 12 identical pieces. It have been four parts, so I somehow need to arrange three of them in a way, as I saw before, to manage them to get them back together. But I cannot really m remember how they looked like. Oh, let's see over here. come together like already in a coordinated motion. Yeah, I think that that's a trick. Yep, like this. I think this has this have been the the correct shape. That's pretty cool. So you have you have um, not only the coordinated motion on the on the big one. How did I do this? <laughs> um, okay. No, this is wrong. Like so. And the last one goes in down 
spear. I think I was kind of lucky to find this first move so quickly because I just have to cheat and look at my first piece to get them to together again. I need to be aligned so precise. Okay. Second one. Now the third one. And then they slide in smooth, I think. Yes. Here we go. Fascinating how how you improve with each piece and how fast you are in the end. Okay, but it's not done right now. Now we need to continue and somehow reassemble these pieces here. This seems to be right. But as you have seen that all the pieces came off at the same time, I can imagine it will be tricky to bring them back together. And I will try to do it in the same way as before or as I usually do it, I will try to assemble three of them and then take the fourth piece. Okay, so, but uh, I'm kind of lost right now. Ah, okay. This one need to get in here. This seems to be right. Ah, no, 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 no. There's another piece over here. And now it's time for the fourth piece. And you have, actually, you have also a nice compartment here inside. I didn't notice this before, but it's... Maybe one inch by one inch. Now the comments about inches and metric dimensions will start again, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so let's see. So one inch is 2.54 centimeters, I think. Come on. Come on. Uh... Yeah, I think I got it. No. Yes. No. No. Ah, here. There's another one. Oh, don't. Don't fall apart. Don't fall apart. And now I got it all. Ah! Damn. At least the single pieces remained in place, so I need to connect the three pieces again. I was so close, actually. Very careful. And this one is still missing. Ah, now the, <laughs> no, now this one is out. <laughs> it's incredibly fiddly, but so some for some reason so satisfying three are in but there's another one out i can feel it already yeah over here okay this one is in yes i got it Woo! finally okay and i mean you've seen it pretty cool solution i think from the difficulty level not level 10 therefore it um was just to, I would not say easy, but it, I, I, the solution, I found the solution too fast. But I mean, look at this, this coordinate motion. This is an incredible, nice effect here. And how smooth these slide together. Pretty cool. Looks somehow like an aperture on a camera. And um, this one also a very cool puzzle. I put you the links in the video description, of course, where you can find those puzzles and if you are interested or if you like this video, just check them out. Really, really appreciate these two and really recommend it from my side. So just, as I said, check them out. Like this video if you liked what you've seen. Let me know in the comments what you would improve, what you liked, what you disliked, whatever you would like to tell me. And of course, you can also like my Facebook and Instagram channel. Until next time, keep on puzzling.